how is uh, pre-season training going? You've been back a few days now. Yeah, it went very well. We're very pleased with the, the efforts put in by the players. I'm saying they've been very difficult conditions to train in, uh, weather-wise. And, um, you know, it's been hard as well, hard running. Yeah, well, t some ball work as well. So, they're yeah, very pleased with the standard of fitness of the players. I know every manager has different ways of doing things in pre-season training. What kind of things have you been putting the players through? Running. And more running. <laughs> and even more running. About nine days of uh, intensive work that I do every pre-season. I do believe it's the most important part of the season. The backbone of fitness that you get keeps you normally injury-free. You know what I mean? So I'm very hopeful. We have nobody called off here. We have a couple of niggling knocks, but uh, niggling injury tightnesses. But other than that, the players have uh, responded very well. And what kind of shape did the players come back in? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a couple that's just a wee, a wee bit tubby. And we'll sort them out. I'm saying body fat-wise, a couple we've got to work on. And there's a couple that... Uh, I would I would say it would be better in short small shorter distances than the, the long stuff we're doing at this moment in time, but that's natural. But uh, no, none of them have come back in, in bad nick so far. And how have the the players been bonding with each other? Because it's it's kind of a new bunch of lads, isn't it? Yeah, well, <coughs> we we we've got a cricket match coming on Friday. We've got a staff staff buffet on Wednesday Wednesday evening for everybody to get to know each other. We're also going to Cornwall for two or three days <coughs> for a couple of games. So the players will get together, you know, we'll start to get them together as much as possible. We've still got a few players to come in yet, but we'll cross that bridge when it comes. And obviously you've been uh, very busy in the transfer market. I think you're just about into double figures now of, of players that you've signed. Have you been pleased with your business over the summer? Um, <coughs> yes, I think uh, it's been successful. You know, we've, we've got a, a nice mix of youth and experience. I've still got to add obviously a couple of loan players that I would like to bring in which which their, their, their main clubs are saying they want them to fulfil the pre-season training with them which makes it a wee bit difficult because he, 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 all of a sudden players come in from nowhere but generally you know that's, we'll wait on that. And I've got a couple others that uh, I'd like to bring in some experienced players. I've got a nice mix you know, of experience and uh, novice types. I think uh, hopefully a good mix. What areas of the pitch are you looking at to, to fill more? Um, well, obviously, uh, experience right down the spine would be nice. So it's something we're looking at at the minute. What about forwards? Have you? Yeah, you know, well, that's, that's, always, that's always the cherry on the cake. You know? Nobody wants to give away their, their top goal scorers and everything else, so it's a difficult place to go. You know, I'd like to bring in an experienced campaigner in there, but they're hard to find. But uh, if I have to go with, with uh, loan novices and the ones I've got here, I've got no problems about that. Just have to change our style a wee bit. But yeah, we've got uh, one or two positions we'd like to put uh, hard and pros in. What about um, the goalkeeping situation? Obviously, you've kept on Wheelie Krizyak. Does that, does that mean that they're going to be your, your main two? Well, as you know, Chris is doing a dual role with him, uh, doing the goalkeeping coaching as well. So he has made it very plain, made it very plain that uh, he wants to compete for the first team, first team slot, which I'm quite happy about. I'm saying so. The two of them are going to vie, and he also uh, Chris will be able to to do the youth goalkeepers as well through the ages. So it's, uh, you know, I'm quite happy for the two of them to vie for the top spot. At this minute, Chris has got the jersey. Okay. If you had a, obviously your list of targets at the start of the season, how has that gone in terms of targets you've acquired? Have you actually got most of the people you've wanted? I'm, I've been disappointed I've missed out on two or three experienced strikers, which I would have liked to come. Once one got injured, one moved to another club for more money, and uh, the other one wants to stay north. So that some geographical problems tend to bring some players here. So my disappointment has been the, uh, the striker situation. I haven't got the, the ones I've been after. 
you brought uh, R4O back in on loan as well. Is it good that he's he's come to go over for a second period? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I was very pleased with his approach to the games that were played. You know, though though he was uh, he had his poorest game the last one, but I watched a lot of video of him. He's a committed committed defender, wants to do well, and he sees this as a stepping stone to bigger and better things. You brought your young striker in from Rangers as well. You, Quite an unknown player, but um, a lot of potential in him. You got to remember, I played 16 years as a striker myself, so I, my mate told me all about him and I had a wee look at all the stuff, and I checked up with two or three other people's opinions of him. And uh, we'll wait and see. We'll play. We're confident that we might, you know, with the work I was talking to him today about it, he's got a lot of work to be done to learn the runs and everything else and uh, I'm just the right person for him playing up front myself. So I'm looking forward to working with the boy and you never know, we might just have a wee nugget there. And it seems um, not a day goes by without you signing a player. You mentioned that you've got a few more in the pipeline. Can we be seeing anything in the next 24, 48 hours? No, I would say it would be the end of the week before I would put muster one or two other players to come to the clubs. Okay. Yeah, thank you. With the loan signings, Paul, have you uh, identified them already? Yeah, we've identified want? the ones we would like. The clubs have been receptive to our, co our, our chats. So, very hopeful the one that the, well, the two or three that I would like to bring to the club will, will be here sooner than later. But we respect their, their, their home club, you know, the clubs that they play for, the, their, their thoughts that they would like to have them through the pre season training. I think everybody, you know, respects that scenario. So we have to wait. And in terms of uh, how you like to play your style of the players you've got in, are they they're ready, you know, they're, they're adapting to it or Well we we haven't done enough ball work yet to really show shape. You know, we've done possession, we've done a wee bit of passing, but ma mainly the first nine days is is nine different types of running. Coming down the the, the distances. So once I get through that, then we'll be all guns blazing on the on the shape and organisation of the team. So we've still got a long way to go. Yeah. I, my, I believe that uh, pre-season goes goes up to about mid-September, if you understand what I mean. They really knuckle down a, a team. You know, we are bringing boys. You know, I think we've got six from last year here. If you count the goalies. Of, uh, account, account, uh, Stephen as well. So we've got probably six, six players stroke five players from last season. So that means I'm going to bring in 16, 17 players. They just don't all of a sudden fit into the jigsaw puzzle. You know, it takes a wee <coughs> while to smooth the rough edges off and get and show them what we really want. So we'll be, you know, but. This doesn't happen overnight and then the 8th August are all ready to go. You know, we're going to have teething problems like any football club is when they do this kind of... What, what's the one I would look for? This kind of... What's the one I'm looking for? Scenario? Ah, scenario is fine, yeah. I was looking for something better than that. For this... Uh, what's the one I'm going to say? <laughs> For this, no, I can't see that word either. Now this leaves that one. <laughs> so, cleansing. What is that? I oh, use cleansing. Oh right. <laughs> cleansing of the uh, uh, squad, the playing squad. You just don't all of a sudden. Well, I'll be highly delighted if we kick in straight away. Yeah. The uh, football gods have not been what you would call helpful in any way with two derbies in Queen's Park in the first week. But sometimes you've got to get chucked into the deep end and think, people come to the fore. I'm looking forward to it now. Still want to, I don't want the age to come too quick because I've got so much, so much to feed, feed this lot first. But I've been excited by watching their touch and their, pa their passing and their control. Uh, yeah, we've got some decent players, and their engines are not too bad. You know, so even after three days, you can you can see that uh, they're having a go.